Hello, how y'all doing? I'm going to talk about this. How to be less vulnerable to the COVID vaccine. Now, I am not a doctor. I'm a scientist. Okay. So, I don't know everything. I only go, I go by what I listen to on YouTube and, and go by what I read. Now, what they universally say, what the scientists universally say is that... Um, when people have a pre-existing condition like cancer, any type of um, high blood pressure, diabetes, <clears throat> any type of um, catastrophic illness of, of some sort, they're more vulnerable to COVID-19 and COVID-19 is mo more likely to ravage their system. Um, now, these are all pre-existing conditions. These are conditions that you would have before you got this terrible disease. Now, obesity is also a pre-existing condition. Even though scientists don't talk about it that much because they don't want to offend the fat people, uh, they're not going to talk about obesity as a pre-existing condition because, as you know, there's umpteen videos uh, a, a girl saying, look, I'm fat and fabulous. But see, they're, they're out of delusion, delusional. They are delusional to say I'm fat and fabulous. But anyway, um, being obese is very dangerous. But you can be obese, uh, not only by, you can be obese. If you eat 10, 10 oranges a day, every day for the next 5 to 10 days, you're going to gain some weight. Obesity comes from eating too much of any food. Okay, and plus you're eating the wrong food. Okay, when you're 300 pounds, 600 pounds, you're eating too much of the wrong food. You know, people who are 600 pounds, you know, they'll eat four pizzas in one setting. They'll eat, what, six sausages in one setting for breakfast. So you can be obese, just that's bad food, just for eating all that bad food. But you can be obese by eating good food too, if you eat too much of it. But obesity is a pre-existing condition, like I said, even though the doctors won't admit it because they don't want to offend anybody. Now, um, I am not skinny, okay? I, I'm not skinny. I'm going to admit that, okay? But I don't put all this garbage in my system. I, I eat as much good food as I can. I am not a vegan. I eat as much nutrition, nutrition nutritious food as I can now let's face it if you are not rich and famous you're not going to get Invermectin you're not going to get the same medication that Donald Trump got all those medications are only for the rich and famous so if you're not rich and famous uh, what you have to do is boost your immune system that is the only defense we have is to boost our immune system because you notice that a lot of those people who died of COVID were obese. You notice that they were big people. Because when you when you stuff your body with all these bad foods and you get uh, obese, uh, you're not helping yourself. You're not boosting your immune system. And everybody says that in order to boost your immune system, you got to eat good nutritious food, plant-based, usually good nutritious food. And you notice the Egyptians, they never had an epidemic. The Egyptians never had an epidemic. Why? Because they were garlic eaters. Now, if you're going to eat garlic, I, I just suggest you do it on your day off or something like that. But they were garlic eaters. You never saw the Egyptians have an epidemic. Um, if you have a, if you have a pre-existing habit, like if you're a smoker, you're going to have a hard time with COVID. Whether you smoke uh, tobacco, whether you smoke weed, you're going to have a hard time with COVID. Okay, so, um, and so I suggest that you boost your immune system. Uh, stop smoking if you can. You know, I'm not one to tell people what to do, but I do suggest you boost your immune system, put good things in your immune system, vitamins, all, of, all those good vegetables, uh, raw. I suggest you do that. Have a nice day.